Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to assign properties to structural geometry in RAM Elements Connect Edition. RAM Elements is a finite element-based general analysis program with an integrated design toolkit. In RAM Elements, you can design complex three-dimensional structures or individual structural components. In the RAM Elements main application, a model is built by entering information such as element properties or loading into a series of data sheets. For this video, we are going to be focusing on assigning properties to nodes in RAM elements for a model that's already been created. We will now turn our attention to our sample RAM elements model, where we're going to be able to assign restraints to nodes and also assign rigid floor diaphragms. Whenever you're assigning properties to nodes, you're going to go to your data panel and go to your nodes tab and then select any of the icons below that to assign your properties or to create nodes. For this exercise, we're going to go to the next second icon from the left, which is to assign your restraints. Now when your nodes tab and your restraints icon are active, you're going to notice that your data sheet is going to change and your spreadsheet tab of your ribbon is going to become available, which is going to show all of your active spreadsheet tools. Now before we assign our restraints, let's go ahead and take a quick look over in the data panel to see the kind of fields that we have. Now we're going to notice that we have checkboxes for TX, TY, and TZ. Now these represent the translational degrees of freedom for the global X, Y, and Z axes respectively. Adjacent to that, we're going to have checkboxes for RX, RY, and RZ, and these will represent the rotational degree of freedom for the global X, Y, and Z axes. Now to assign supports, you can either select the checkboxes over in the data panel, or you can select one of the icons up in the active spreadsheet tool. Now the first step for assigning properties to any type of element in RAM elements is to first select what you want to apply it to. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate our screen, which we can do in the active window just by using our right mouse button to kind of rotate the view to make it a little easier. Now to unselect all currently selected elements, you can click anywhere in your main display. And then you're going to draw a fence around the nodes you want to assign supports to. Once you do that, you can either manu manually select your checkboxes or find the appropriate support up in the Active Spreadsheet tools. Now for this particular model, we're going to go ahead and assign a fixed support for all. Now when you use your Active Spreadsheet tools, it's going to automatically select the appropriate checkboxes for you. So here we'll go and we'll select the fixed support, and you're going to see that the T, X, T, Y, T, Z, along with the rotational degrees of freedom, have all been fixed for the selected nodes. The next property we're going to learn how to use is how to assign a rigid floor diaphragm in RAM elements, which basically gets assigned as a nodal property. Over in your data panel, you're again going to stick with your nodes tab, and then you're going to select your next icon from the left, which is your rigid floor diaphragm number option. Now you're going to notice when the nodes tab and the rigid floor diaphragm icon are active, your active spreadsheet tools are going to reveal two icons that are available. The first one will assign a rigid diaphragm to your selected nodes, and this will assign a consecutive floor number to the selected group of nodes. The next icon is going to assign a rigid diaphragm to selected nodes based on their Y coordinate. This is a way to assign a rigid floor diaphragm to multiple levels all in one step. Now nodes on each floor parallel to the X, Z plane can be assigned as a rigid diaphragm, which will simulate the in-plane rigidity produced by the slab and make all of the nodes assigned to that diaphragm move and rotate together. This does mean that all nodes that are assigned to the same rigid diaphragm must have the same Y coordinate value. Now for this exercise, we're going to assign a rigid floor diaphragm at this floor level here. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a fence around those nodes at that level and we're going to use our first icon up here to assign a rigid diaphragm to the selected nodes. And you can see that a diaphragm number of one has been assigned. 
Now by default, every node in your model when it's created is going to be given a diaphragm number of zero, which basically means it's not assigned to a rigid diaphragm yet. For it to be assigned to a rigid diaphragm, you must assign it to a non-zero number over in the data panel. Now as we are assigning properties to this particular model, you may find it useful to use some of the other tools that are available besides just assigning properties. So let's go ahead and review those now. The first tools that you're going to have to realize how to use is how to select your members in RAM elements. On the spreadsheet tab in the ribbon and also available in the home tab in the ribbon are several different selection tools. You can use any of these tools to help you manipulate your model to make the selection process easier. You can go ahead, we have tools to select all. We have a tool to hide your unselected elements. And we also have some special selection options. If you want to unselect all elements, you can click anywhere in the display area. And if you hold down your shift key, you can select more than one element at one time. A good familiarity with these tools will help you in assigning pro properties to your model. The next options are our view options. There may be times you want to change the view of your model or to rotate. To do that, you're gonna right click in your display area and you're gonna find different views available. And this might assist you in making your selections easier. You can again also just use your right mouse button to kind of rotate the model to kind of get things a little easier for you to be able to grab the elements that you want to assign properties to. The last area that we're going to take a look at is this view tab up in your ribbon. Now this is a way to turn on different properties that you want to be able to display at one time. So you can see right now I've already assigned properties to my nodes for my rigid floor diaphragm and also my supports. So I can go ahead and view individual options on and off using the view tab in the ribbon. I have this properties pull down option where I can go ahead and turn off different features that way as well. Now if you want to clean up your display, if you have too many things being displayed at one time, you can go up to your quick access toolbar and click on your turn off all display options. That'll turn off everything and then that might be a good way to reset your view and then turn on just the things you want to see at that particular moment. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.